Good morning. Good Monday morning, everyone. Good Monday morning, yes. everybody. It's Monday. Yes. I know the struggle probably a little real right now, but God woke you up this morning, so come on, let's get with it. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into it this morning. Over the weekend, I had the opportunity to listen to Megan Good interview with her husband. Mm -hmm. And I also was able to read some of the comments that we as Christians um, commented. Uh, we were in a way condemning her about the way she dressed. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want to start out with saying, this is my dis Glamour uh, for all you Christians, so you won't start bashing me. Yes, the Bible does say it, it does say in the Bible that we are to dress modestly, mm -hmm. it does say that. Um, however, we as Christians again, we tend to choose and pick what parts we want to throw at people to condemn them, and that's. Is not what Jesus is all about. He was not about condemning people. He was not about putting them down um, while they were doing things that were according to his will. Um, as a believer, are you doing more to tear down your brother and sister or are you trying to lift them up? Um, I'm going to use my own personal uh, testimony as an example. I wore the shortest of the, sh of the dresses and and I mean, piercings everywhere. I have a ton of pierce. I have a bunch of tattoos. You know, when I was out there in the streets in the world, running from God. And when I tell you, when I accepted Christ and I really stopped running and I got to know Jesus for myself, the first thing that God changed within me, it wasn't how I dressed. It wasn't for me to remove the piercings. He began to change my heart. Because mm -hmm. the Bible tells us, if you really want to be real, that man looks at the outward appearance. Mm -hmm. God looks at the heart. So... If you really want to quote scripture, that's one to quote. It's, it, God doesn't care about how we appear outwardly to man because we can act like we have it all together and our heart be black and cold. So it's not about that. I want to just, this message is not about uh, the Christians who put down people, but it's, it's people who are new to the faith. I just mm -hmm. want to let you know that you do not have to be perfect. There is nowhere in the Bible where it says that you have to be perfect. You have to have it all together because you are serving a perfect God. And he is going to make those changes in due time. The first thing that God began to work on with me was unforgiveness. Things that the man couldn't see with their eye because the Bible tells us that I, w I can't be forgiven of my sins if I have unforgiveness. And I had some unforgiveness for my husband. Mm -hmm. I had unforgiveness <clears throat> for people who hurt me in the past. And I even didn't feel like God loved me. I was kind of mad at God for because I felt like he allowed certain things to happen to me. So first, God had to deal with my heart. And then he began to deal with the adultery mm -hmm. that I was doing. I was in adultery regardless of what my husband was doing. And so it didn't matter if in the world I had a long dress on. If I would have died in my sin and I was harboring unforgiveness, I would have went to hell. I wouldn't have went to heaven. If I had a long skirt down to my ankle, hair covered up, and I'm all covered, and I died while I was in adultery, I would have went to hell. So he began to work on those things first. And then slowly he began to change the way I dress. And, and that was just a personal thing for me. I began to take the piercings out. So don't let anyone make you feel like you're not worthy to serve a perfect God. Because you are. I got real, y'all. A little bit down. <laughs> Moral of the story is God does the change and not us. Yes. So all we do is bring them into the household of faith. Yes. And God does the change. Stop trying to change people. Stop trying to condemn people. And that's that's what makes people people want to go back out in the world because they feel like, oh, the body of Christ not going to accept me. So I might as well go out in the world because the world is going to accept me and they're not going to judge me. Y'all love on people. Lift them up. Don't put them down because you don't know what situations the Lord is working on behind the scenes that you can't see. Mm -hmm. And if you had it all together, you wouldn't need God. Okay. You wouldn't need Jesus Christ. 
Because don't let the smile fool you and us getting up in here. I love my husband. Love Our marriage too. is not perfect, but we are a, a, we have came a mighty long mm -hmm. way. I love him to death. No, for the room and stuff, we are not walking in any kind of infidelity. We love each other, but we have our moments. But people on the outside looking in would deem to think we got it all together and we just a perfect couple or we don't do no wrong. The Lord still dealing with me. He dealing with me on trust. And I'm trying to get y'all the word and just, I've been praying for God for some things, y'all. And I'm like, God, you forgot about me. <laughs> so he dealing with me on just trusting him and increasing my faith. So never judge somebody by what you appear to think they are with your natural eye. You better say something before I, before I, I be on, I, I, gave a sermon out here now. Come on. Go ahead Come then. on, babe. <laughs> say that. <laughs> Come on, babe. Pray so we can get out of here. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, Father, we just want to come before your throne of grace and mercy this morning, thanking you for another day, Lord God. We thank you for blessing us and keeping us throughout the night, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you protect each and every hearer of the word on today, Lord God. Bless them as they go to and from today. I ask, Lord God, that you go before us, prepare the way, Lord God. Allow us to make it safely to our, our destinations throughout the day, Lord God, and bring us all safely back home, Father. And, Father, we ask, Lord God, that all things are done out of love. All correction is done out of love, Lord God. And love is shown, Lord God, through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, we love you. We love and you. we will see you on tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed, beautiful day. The sun is shining. Even though it's raining. <laughs> love you guys. Love y'all.